Hello and welcome to Gimka's World Works. My name is Dima. A subscriber of mine asked me about my pressure pot and where I got it and what I did to it to get ready for casting. So in this video I'm going to show you where I got it and exactly what I did to modify this pot for pressure casting. So I got my pressure pot at Harbor Freight and as you can see I'm on their website right now. Uh, they have them for $99. Uh, if you find a coupon, you could probably get it for less than that. Um, so pretty much it comes with... See if I can zoom into that picture there. As you can see here, it comes with a regulator. Uh, you've got your inlet for your, for your pressure line. And you've got your outlet. Uh, this is really is a paint tank. Uh, it's used you know for spraying paint of all sorts uh, so all I'm doing is converting it so I could cast so pretty much I removed all that stuff off the cap so I'll, I'll show you what mine looks like uh, and I'll show you exactly what I did to modify it so since I have a designated area for casting uh, pen blanks and call blanks I have my pressure pot recessed into my workbench so really all I did um, I cut a hole into my workbench, as you can see here, just enough so the pressure pot fits right in there. And really, I mean, that's all it is. The main thing you're going to have to do with the pressure pot is modify the lid. Um, so it pretty much comes with a regulator attached to here, and you've got your port here that you can connect your sprayer to. So really all I do is, you can either take that fitting off or you could do what I did is uh, actually chop it off because I couldn't get it out. Uh, so what I did was I tapped a 16th inch pipe plug in there and I just plugged it in there and it's really good airtight. So really all you got to do is use the other hole and I believe that's a, uh, that's a quarter inch uh, pipe. So I've got a T in there. I got it teed off to a gauge. This is the gauge that actually came with the pressure pot, so I didn't have to buy a new one. I've got a ball valve, and I've got an inlet line. So really, I mean, that's really all I had to do. There was nothing special. You remove all the stuff that came with it, and you install your own. Uh, the inside uh, came, it, it had a, a pipe sticking down that sucks up the paint. You really don't need that, so I just went ahead and cut that up. Uh, the other thing I had to do for the inside, since it is kind of like a bowl shape, it's not a flat bottom surface, I just put this square piece in there and it's leveled and it's really, I mean all I do is I take, I take my molds when I'm done with them and I just set it on top of there and if I've got more than one I just kind of keep stacking them up until it reaches the lid and then it's ready to go. So really, I mean, that's really all it is. It's not rocket science. Um, I know that uh, the IAP website has instructions of how to modify these. Uh, I'll try to find a link and post it in the descriptions. But if you got any more questions of what I did to mine, uh, post down in the comments and I'll try to answer you as much as I can. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you're not a subscriber? do so somewhere down there the button keeps moving but subscribe and watch future videos well see you next time